Right on. Right on. Right on. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome right again. On. Well, welcome right back to anyone who's returning. Welcome if it's your first time here. Welcome. So, in January, it's the start of right on. the tour de Zwift. I thought this year I'll get in there and uh, and do the events when they're on, rather than trying to do everything in the catch-up week, which is what I've done every previous year. And every previous year, that week has been horrendous. So, a little bit of confession time. I was supposed to be doing the longer ride today, and about 20 minutes ago, I decided not to do the longer ride. So this is the the short ride, they call it. Right on. It's about 13 kilometers. Right should be a nice steady nice. pace. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully I don't do the silly and get myself into the front bunch and end up going far too fast. Um, so uh, we'll see. And lots of people have been mentioning in the forums, we can see Mount Fuji in the distance. And they're hoping that there'll be a climb up Mount Fuji. Which will be uh, fun. They'll add it to the uh, other um, climbs within the game. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. So we cross under the arch, go through the lead-in. What power ups are they giving us today? Aero power. -up. I don't think there's any particular sprints or anything today. Also, it's a group ride, not a not a race. So we're just out to uh, turn the legs. Always, <laughs> after spending years on the road, it sort of pains you to ride across the dust on a road bike. So my uh, reason for um, dropping out of the, the longer ride, which I planned on doing, was that yesterday I went and donated blood, and this morning I just didn't feel like it. So uh, I would firmly, yeah, well, in the UK anyway, um, blood stocks are quite low, and the NHS Blood and Transfusion Service is absolutely crying out for new donors so if anybody can in the UK or locally whichever agency it is that uh, your country uses is uh, the analytics said some people are from America or Canada which is fantastic um, but in the UK anyway it's the NHS blood and transfusion service and the whole process is, is really easy. You, you sign up online, book an appointment, you go down, you're there for 45 minutes. I think I was there for about 45 minutes. Got given a big drink before you start. A couple of questions, a bit of paperwork. Then they take you through the process. You sit there for 5 or 10 minutes while it goes out and uh, I am one of the biggest wimps when it comes to needles I do not like them but really it's nothing the worst pain of the whole thing is they put a sticker on um, plaster the worst bit of the whole thing was last night pulling that plaster off. that's as bad as it gets and after that we take you over to um, 
the tea and coffee station. Make sure you have a couple of cups of tea and coffee or soft drinks. And uh, for anyone in the UK, there's a big box full of club biscuits. And you can help yourself. They actually make you. And Seabrook crisps as well. Apologies for the rolling shutter on the little in-frame video. It's a little bit dark today. So I've had to put up the only lights I've got. Which are some construction flood lamps. And they've got a bit of a rolly effect on them. So uh, if people like hanging along for the ride, I'll invest in some better lights. If people don't like the face, I'll do this in the dark. That's no problem. But takeaway message, if there is one, is if you can, please consider donating blood. Because the stocks are urgently needed. And in the UK, uh, you even get an email a couple of days later telling you where your donation went to and what it's been used for. So I'm looking forward to that in a couple of days, finding out where yesterday's donation went. So I'm a bit of a data geek. So I like that kind of thing. But as I said, I'm going to encourage just one person to go and do it. It's really no big deal. And the staff there are so helpful and supportive that if you've got any concerns, they'll help you through it. But I say the most discomfort of it all is pulling the plaster off later on. I don't know what they stick them on with, but it's like it's stuck to the other side of my arm. We'll use up that uh, we'll use up that bonus because as we go through the archway we'll get given another one. Uh, 10 XP. Oh, never mind, eh? Something else for people who are not familiar with. This is the Zwift cycling platform. They call it the platform it's Zwift. And uh, there are two reward metrics in the game. There are probably more, but. One of them is your level, which as you cycle more you gain experience points and that allows you to level up. You cannot cheat, you can't buy them, you have to earn them. And uh, as you go up the levels, the other um, reward metric starts to come into play, the drops. Now. If we look up over in the top banner, down, how do we describe it? In the bottom right hand corner of the top banner display element, which is over there, there is just above the distance to go, there is the drop count. Those drops are a virtual currency that you can spend in the drop shop. And they allow you to do things like buy um, new bikes, frames, wheels, socks, and that gives you different advantages or disadvantages in the game. The uh, bike that I'm riding is not one you can buy it's another one you have to earn by doing one of the challenges in this case it's the Mount Everest challenge where you start out thinking this is alright I just climb the height of Mount Everest which is uh, up and down Alp de Zwift to eight and a half times eight and a half times and uh, it's you get to the end of that and then find out actually no it's not that 
you get a little reward for doing that. Which I think it's the trick. It's a trick carbon frame. Which is one of the lighter ones. And you realise that you've actually got to climb 50,000 metres vertical to get what everybody calls the Tron bike. <laughs> you can spot them because they're the ones that glow and look pretty cool in the dark. They were at one point one of the fastest bikes in the game. It's now not. Um, I don't believe that's guaranteed. No, it's not right anymore. One thing that's great and downside is in the Tour de Zwift, regardless of what kit your rider is equipped with, um, as you start one of the events, everybody wears the same jersey, which is great because it looks visually, visually great, but it's hard work to spot yourself in a crowd. <laughs> Try and just hop across to that group in front. As I say, this is much more of a social ride than a, a hard effort. So, uh, just plug along. Uh, another thing mentioning, worth mentioning about the Tour de Zwift is it is for all abilities. It's one of the nice things about it. So in order to get the uh, reward for completing it, you have to just finish all the events. In each of the events there is a hard event, which in this case is the long ride, and an easier option, or a couple of options, um, along with a female only event. So you can always find something that fits your ability. And when you finish, as long as you've got all the stamps for the event, everybody gets the same reward. So I think it's great. Yep, not feeling great today, but yeah, we'll give it a go. We'll get round, we'll learn this down, and uh, live to do the next one. So today's stream will be a lot shorter, which I don't know whether short rides are good or long rides are good. I enjoy doing the riding and the thought of people watching keeps you honest, makes you put in the effort. So thank you to anybody that's watching. I hope we ain't going all the way up the temple line, it's a bit of a... I don't think we are. Staring at the mini-map, trying to figure it out.
and there's a couple of points in Zwift where the camera pans away, you get to see yourself go around the corner before the camera comes and catches back up to you. As I think I've already mentioned, I will be doing all of the, uh, hopefully, doing the Tour de Zwift events over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be great if anybody wants to tag along or join in. Um, what I'll do is, the ones where I absolutely know I'm going to be doing it, I'll publish the event description and which category I'm going to be in, in the uh, live stream description. And it'd be great if anybody right wants on. to, anybody from real life wants to join in. And uh, come along for the ride. On a Friday, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing, so there might be a surprise stream, there might not. If you're watching this in the future, Friday's probably already gone. That was a pointless thing to say. If anybody is in the UK, and it's still Wednesday the 12th, it would be well worth watching Prime Minister's Question Times today. Mr PM of the UK, Mr Johnson, has had a bit of an awkward week, and he isn't going to get an easy time. So, I may, depends what time we get back. I might um, do what the internet people call a reaction video to Mr. Johnson's grilling today. It's just it's going to be the worst one he's had for a, a long time. Is it an outstanding question as to whether he attended a party or not during the UK's lockdown where it was not just banned, it was downright illegal and uh, in press conference over the last couple of days he couldn't remember or didn't want to say still trying to keep politics out of this one but if Mr Johnson remains true to form he'll be fired from this job same as every other one he's had
actually feeling a bit excited to see if Swift do add uh, a Mount Fuji climb. Be interesting. Just how easy an event it's supposed to be. It's always people that pick the pace up at the end. Just let him go. I think we're very close to the end on this one. 400 meters. So, uh, as we cross the finish line, that will be just about time to wrap this one up. Uh, if you have been, thank you for watching. If you haven't enjoyed, if you've enjoyed it, if you haven't enjoyed it, comment below. If you don't like the lights, let me know. Uh, but the last thing I'd like to say on today is, if you are able to give blood, then please consider doing so. In the UK, it's under uh, on their website, which is blood.co.uk. Or oh, they have a phone number as well, which is 0300 123 2323. So, if you could, that would be great. And uh, thank you very much for watching. There might be something Friday, there might not. If you're watching this after Friday, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay.